The father of a five-year-old boy facing charges tonight after accidentally shooting his young son. Kelly, how did this happen? Well, she back can tell you the boy's father is currently here at headquarters speaking with police. Police say he was simply holding the gun when it accidentally went off. Obviously, still an active investigation here. Fortunately, that five-year-old boy is expected to physically recover, but police say the boy's father should not have had a gun to begin with. A baby. Yeah. It pisses me off. Inside this home on what neighbors say is normally a quiet on the block, Philadelphia police rushed a five-year-old little boy to the hospital after he was shot once. A situation Osmond McDougall says should never happen. Whoever got kids in their house and you got a weapon, your duty is to properly put it up. What kind of parents are you? Police say they got the call for the shooting on West Fisher Street just before 9.30 this morning. They believe the child's father was holding a handgun when it accidentally went off and shot the boy who was standing in the doorway. Police say the father is currently under house arrest for a firearm violation back in November. He was just sentenced in March. We're always open to new, uh, new evidence, but this seems to be on the surface, uh, an accidental discharge in the hands of somebody who shouldn't have had a gun from the, to begin with. Police say there were other adults in the home at the time, along with children, including the boy's nine-year-old brother. They originally found evidence outside the home, but determined that was from a previous incident. Police say the weapon in this shooting and the shell casing were taken from the scene before they arrived, but they did find an additional gun in the home, a shotgun. This neighbor asked that we protect her identity. That's bad. That's bad. And this block is a good block. It's quiet. Police say shootings involving juveniles are up 28% compared to this time last year. This case could have been prevented. People who are prohibited, people who are convicted, should not be having guns in the house to begin with. You know, that alone, in this case, would have sufficed that safety aspect. But yeah, overall, people should be secure their guns in, in a responsible, effective manner. The police say the boy's father will likely be charged for that additional shotgun found inside the home. And of course, charges could come for the shooting. They are also still investigating who removed the evidence from inside the home. That could result in charges as well. Of course, if you have any additional information, police want to hear from you. Jason. Kelly Rule, thank you so much.